Good morning class, my name is Abaka Onimisi and the topic for today's class is communication system. Put simply, communication system is the same as ICT, that is information and communication technology, which means the use of technology for collecting, processing, managing, storage, retrieval and dissemination of information. ICT uses electronic devices such as computers and computer software to store, protect, process, transmit and retrieve information. Now just the work that your phone does makes it an ICT device because it helps you store, store information, it helps you process information, it helps you retrieve information, it helps you protect information and it helps you what, disseminate information. So also your computer devices, your tablet and some other smart devices. Now let's focus on the three keywords behind ICT, information. It refers to the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study or research. And we need information to make what? Important decisions and to predict the future. Tools for transmitting information are telephone, television, radio, computer sets, your other smart devices. There are even uh, automated chatbots and, all, and what have you. Now, there's also communication. Communication is the act of transmitting messages. It's a process whereby information is exchanged between individuals using symbols, signs, or verbal interaction. Technology also implies devices aiding communication, such as telephone, computers, fax machines, and so on. These devices are used in extended communication and spreading of information. Now, let's examine the data transmission strategies in ICT or communication strategy. One, we have the synchronous communication and two, we have the asynchronous communication. For synchronous communication, take note of the fact that it is a direct communication where all parties involved in the communication are present at the same time. That is in an event. It's a form of synchronous what? Communication. Examples are online chats like WhatsApp, Facebook and other social networks. Video conferences like video chats or video calls on platforms like Zoom, Google Do, Skype. Then the next one is what is asynchronous communication? Asynchronous communication, instead of having everybody available, you know, in the communication process at the same time, it does the opposite. People can send message at different intervals, and communication will still what be achieved. Examples are discussion forum like blogs. Blogs such as Naira Land, Kora, Bala Ninja, Linda IKG, MySchool.com, and all of that, that are, you know, not far fetched. Now, what are the types of ICT? We have the broadcasting, telecommunications, data networks, information systems, and satellite communication. So let's take it one after the other. What is broadcasting? Broadcasting is the distribution of radio and video content to a dispersed audience via radio, television, or other you know broadcasting means now telecommunication there will be no phone there will be no internet without telecommunications I, I, I hope you know that so telecommunication is the transmission of information over significant distances for the purpose of what communication in the past before the advent of you know information technology information and communication technology we used to have primitive means of communication in form of smoke, long blown horns, signal flags, loud whistles, and so on. Now, in current times, we have radio and microwave communications, telephones, you know, and so on and so forth. Now, let's look at data networks. A data network is a collection of hardware components and computers, and computers interconnected by communication channels that allow sharing of information. Now, your data network is an example of your uh, network systems in the office, your workstation, and um, your, your this connection in your server room that allows you know, different computers within the same network to share resources. Now, another one is information systems. Every device that gives you the opportunity to be able to come send, receive, process, manage, protect information is also an information system. So here we define we defined information systems as 
integrates of components for collecting, storing, processing, and what and communicating information. Your phone, your tablet devices, your computers, and some other ICT devices that you have are your inform. Some of them are your information systems because they allow you to be able to send, receive, process, manage, and retrieve information. Now, satellite communication. This is use of artificial satellites to provide communication links between various points on Earth. You know, different countries have different satellite stations, you know, up there to be able to uh, get direct signals for them to be able to uh, process and manage information. Now, let's do a summary of the class. So, communication system is a system that allows for transmission of messages between the sender and receiver. On the other hand, communication strategies. There are two main communication strategies, asynchronous and synchronous co communication. For synchronous communication, all parties involved in communication are present at the same time. And an example is live chat on Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and so on, video conferencing, and so on. Why synchronous does not require all parties involved to be what? Present at the same time. An example is the blogs and online forum like Nyland, Quora, Linda KG, and so on. Now, types of information communication technologies in this context are broadcasting, telecommunications, data networks, information stem, and satellite communications. Thank you very much for being a part of this class. And a quick uh, assignment that I'm going to give you is for you to go and find out 10 information systems that have not been mentioned in this class and um, try to look around you and name any five information systems that you can find. See you at the next class. Thank you.